what a waste it would be to be in a car right now. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just about to take off on a little road trip here going to West Texas to visit my brother. And I, I can't even begin to tell you how blown away I am by this weather. It is 54 degrees right now in Dallas, Texas in September. This is unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. Not unusual to have temperatures well into the 90s this time of year. So, as I've said before, if this is the result of global warming, please don't do anything to stop it. Because we had an amazing spring this year, uh, an extended springtime with very nice weather, and we're having a beautiful fall right now. Now, it could get hot again before December. You know, it could get back up. But boy, right now, it looks really, really nice. So just enjoying this beautiful, beautiful weather. So I'm about to set up my GPS for my trip. And I have, uh, I have my Garmin XT over here. And it is it should already be on a route. Let's see if it is. Uh, go to Trip Planner. I have a trip that I imported into, there we go, and it's now calculating the route, and I also, uh, I exported that route from Basecamp, imported it into the Garmin, and I also imported it into Honda Trip Planner, and then exported the same route out of Honda Trip Planner and imported it into my Honda GPS. So I have the same route on both and I want to see how they compare, how they perform uh, the same way or differently. So let's go to here, go to routes. Uh, let's see, there's my route to John 2020. Uh, set destination and it's now processing. And I'll get some of this uh, video or photos with my camera on my phone so you can see the difference. This is kind of how we're starting out. It does take the uh, Honda GPS a little bit longer to calculate everything and come up with the route. Now there's about nine or ten waypoints on this route. So now I come to a screen that basically says to start the route and I'll say go. And I will touch back with you from the road and update you with any new information that I think is important. You know, I'm beginning to wonder if I should have worn my liner it's actually that cool out I'm not complaining though I love this cool weather I love it I find it refreshing and uh, I think this is just perfect riding weather there's not even any wind right now now you may be wondering why am I starting so late in the morning because usually when I ride to West Texas, I start about 5.30 in the morning to kind of beat the traffic to get out of town. Well, usually the reason I do that is because I go in the summertime or even this time of year and it's usually so hot in the afternoon, I like to get an early start and ride while it's cool. And there was really no reason to do that uh, this this time because the high today is only going to be 80 degrees so there was no reason to leave early for the weather and also the highways here in the Dallas Fort Worth area 
are in terrible condition. There's a lot of ruts and, you know, just eroded out places in the highways where if you get your motorcycle tire uh, caught in it, it's just, basically what I'm saying is it's just too dangerous to ride a motorcycle after dark or in the dark in the Metroplex. I just consider it unsafe. Plus, everybody here, even at 5.30 in the morning, there's a lot of traffic. Everybody's going to 80, 85 miles an hour, and it's just nerve-wracking to get out of town. Once you get uh, into Fort Worth and on the other side of Fort Worth, it's not so bad. It's pretty nice. But it's just that first hour getting out of the DFW Metroplex is a real stressful ride. So I just thought, what the hell, I'll just wait till after the traffic, about 8.45, 9 o'clock in the morning, and, uh, you know, even if I don't get in till 3 o'clock, so what? Well, just about ready to hit the road again. I just made a quick stop here at Maverick Travel Center in Eastland, Texas. Had to get some gas and stretch my legs. Take a drink of water. This is my uh, one of my regular stops on this trip. You know, I've I've mentioned before. I'm going to get my GPS started up here again on my uh, Goldwing. Not sure if it's on the same route or not. I guess it is. Looks like it is. So I've mentioned before that this is a uh, kind of a monotonous, boring, I guess you could say, ride from Dallas-Fort Worth to Midland. It takes about six hours the way I do it. Uh, some of you guys ride a lot faster than I do. You. You could probably make it in five hours, but I don't get in a big hurry. Nevertheless, um, I was reminded that even a boring ride like this, uh, you know, interstate, this is not my preferred way to ride. I would much rather be on some nice Tennessee back roads or North Carolina. You know, that would be... Uh, my idea of a motorcycle road trip but even a relatively boring interstate ride is still better on two wheels especially on a day like today right now it's uh, about 11 o'clock in the morning it's 74 degrees 73 74 degrees Clear skies, not a lot of wind. There's a little wind, but not too bad. And what a waste it would be to be in a car right now where you couldn't really enjoy this uh, environment. So, even a, even a boring ride on two wheels is better than no ride on a day like today. I, I was reminded of that by an email that I got yesterday from Jeff in South Dakota. What a nice email. Jeff uh, mentioned that he had uh, recently had a mishap on his 2004 Goldwing where somebody ran a stop sign on a highway and uh, he went down pretty hard, suffered a concussion, and uh, was recovering for quite some time. And that in spite of that, he continued to watch my uh, motor vlog videos and uh, kind of uh, inspired him or gave him some enjoyment while he was recovering and took the time to write me this really, really nice email, kind of thanking me for the videos. Uh, really appreciate it, Jeff. Hope you're uh, feeling better. 
hope you're able to get back up and ride before too long if you choose to now I have been uh, using these two GPS systems side by side uh, for the first part of this trip and in fact I'm still using them and uh, am coming up with some interesting results so I will uh, be on my return ride back from West Texas I will do a motor vlog and I will give you kind of my comparison of what I like and don't like about both of these uh, GPS units just kind of uh, enjoy this beautiful ride again for joining me on cruise man's motor vlog today i'll see you next time don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and of course i can't forget to tell you you gotta click that subscribe button and the little bell icon if you want youtube to notify you of future videos thanks everybody we'll see you next time on the ride back from west texas If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.